hi welcome again to our channel and today here our team is ready to cover a next medicine and that is known as a metronidazole it is a very well prescribed antibiotic in the whole world and i request you to please subscribe and share this video because spreading knowledge on a health is the same like spreading health in the society so now let's start the video first we will see the history of metronidazole Metronidazole is an antibiotic and antiprotozoal medication. Initially, this drug was developed by Rune Pollock in 1950s and licensed to GD Serlec and Serlec was acquired later on by the Pfizer in 2003. But metronidazole began to be commercially used in 1960s in France and it is in the list of WHO essential medicines also. And metronidazole is widely prescribed medication in United States. The next question is a mode of action. Mode of action means how metronidazole works in our body. So metronidazole is a nitroimidazole class and it inhibits the nucleic acid synthesis by disrupting the DNA microbial DNA of the microbial cells. So it stops the growth of a microorganism in our body. And next question is uh, what kind of a dosage forms are available in the market? So metronidazole is available as a tablet. Uh, intravenous injections as a suspension for the children's dental gum gel and vaginal cream uh, so uh, is this metronidazole available as a generic medicine yes it is available as a generic medicines also and with the many different brand names also it is available in the market like a flagyl metrogil metron filmet metro aristogil from aristo so these are the few uh, brand names of the metronidazole now we will see the chemical data of uh, metronidazole. The bioavailability is around 80% and protein binding is 20%. The elimination half-life is 8 hour and the onset of action is just within a few hours after taking the dose and duration of action is also 8 hour. And the next is the route of administration. So how the metronidazole can be administered to our body. So it can be administered through the vaginal route, rectal route. It is available as a IV injections through oral route as a tablet and topical route. And the next is uh, excretion. So the metronidazole is excreted 77% through the urine and the remain 14% around through the feces. And the next one we will see the indication. Indication means which are those conditions where doctor used to prescribe or he advise to take the metronidazole. So metronidazole is used in the prevention and treatment of infection due to anaerobic bacteria so bacteria are basically two types aerobic and anaerobic anaerobic bacteria means those bacteria who can live without the oxygen also so the first indication is uh, amoebiasis h pyroli infection or intra abdominal infection and giardiasis and the next one is a bone infection and dental abscess and pneumonia bacteremia in another hand, uh, metrogil can be prescribed in the bacterial infections like uh, bacterial vaginitis, trichomonas vaginitis, non-gonococcal urethritis and pelvic inflammatory disease. So wherever we see the itis, itis means infection, uh, inflammation. So if it is there in a vagina, then it is called vaginitis. If it, the inflammation is present in a urethra, then it is called urethritis. And now the next one is the joint infections, skin or a soft tissue infections. Sexually, uh, metrogel can be used as a prophylactic use in a surgical cases and uh, sexually transmitted diseases also. And in a post-operative anaerobic infection also, doctor can prescribe metronidazole. Now the next one is the common side effects. Every medicine is having few kind of a side effects and uh, metrogel side effects are like a nausea loss of appetite headache abdominal distress and the last common side effect are metallic taste so if these side effects if you are feeling it very in a light way then it is not a problem but if, if it, it, uh, it disturbs you then it is better to uh, discuss with the doctor and the last one is a contraindication yani uh, which are those conditions where you cannot take the metronidazole so if the person is having active cns disease any central nervous system disease or a blood dyscrasis so in the both the condition the person should not take the metronidazole and metronidazole should not be taken with the alcohol and a special precaution 
uh, if the person is having a renal dysfunction or obstructive hepatic disease uh, means if the person is having any kind of uh, liver disease or a kidney disease in the both the condition he should have to take the special precautions and uh, if the person is having the alcoholic cirrhosis so these are the special precaution cases so these were the all details of the metronidazole and uh, in my next video we will cover some another antibiotic so till then bye and thanks for watching this video and i request you to please share this video with your friends to aware the to spread the awareness on the health thanks a lot